Hello and welcome to bmclounge.com in the schedule management knowledge area one of the very critical topics is the critical path method CPM so what is this critical path how do you calculate the critical path do watch this video till the end as we discuss how to calculate the critical path but first let's get started with the understanding of the critical path now an important thing to understand is that CPM is the most important tool to keep your projects on track so if you want to keep your projects on track if you want to follow the schedule CPM the critical path method the critical path is something that you should be aware of now do you remember network diagrams I'll share a link in the description below to the entire playlist that contains network diagrams that contains this video that contains other videos like the calculation of float slack forward pass backward pass all of that sweet stuff in a single playlist so the second link in the description is going to take you to that playlist by the way the first link in the description is going to take you to the article about critical path so if you are into reading if you would rather read than watch a video on critical path then first link in the description is going to take you to pmclounge.com our website and the corresponding article for critical path now do you remember network diagrams let me show you how one looked we have discussed this previously this is how a network diagram looks like and every network diagram this is a network diagram every single network diagram out there is going to have a critical path so yes this also has a critical path what is the critical path that is what we are going to look into in the next slide what is the critical path if every network diagram has one so it is basically the longest string of activities in the network diagram so you just saw the network diagram the longest string of activities that is the critical path now if you add durations of all the activities now this is important because in the previous slide the network diagram that we saw didn't have duration values for the activities if you add durations of all the activities on all the paths in your network diagram the one with the highest duration is the critical path so you need to understand that you need to add all the durations of all the activities right and the one the string of activities or the path that has the highest duration that is known as critical path when we look into an example later on in this video it will be much clearer so why is this important why is CPM such a big deal right the thing is from PMP perspective it is important for sure but from real life perspective as well you need to understand the fact that a delay in any of the activities on the critical path so once you find the critical path in the network diagram you recognize the activities that fall on that critical path if there is a delay on any of those activities the entire project will be delayed so this is definitely important from your real life project management perspective this is extremely important now the activities that are not on the critical path can get delayed without impacting the project so that is what this means right conversely if you have certain activities which are not on the critical path they will get delayed if they get delayed not that they will get delayed but if they do get delayed the impact on the project may not be much now this is definitely giving you a fair idea you as a project manager this is giving you a fair idea of what activities are urgent and what activities can wait so activities that are on the critical path are definitely definitely urgent but activities that are not on the critical path even if they are delayed it should be fine i mean delayed by a certain quantity not indefinitely delayed right conversely this also gives you a fair idea of what activities must finish early for the entire project to complete ahead of schedule so if your project is a two year long engagement and you want to finish it in let's say 20 months 
you need to find the critical path and you need to find the critical path activities and you need to see how you can reduce the duration of these activities that way if the activities on the critical path if their duration is reduced then definitely the entire project can be completed ahead of schedule now we will see how to calculate the critical path a quick reminder before we do that if you're looking for pmp preparation book recommendations then you can go to pmclounge.com resources that's where we have listed our favorite books all right now this is a network diagram this is a network diagram right now let's see how do you calculate the critical path from the network diagram whatever that you see above the numbers that you see above these ones are the durations all right this is the starting point whatever that you see inside the box the letters these are activities right and the arrows are going to show you the different paths right so you can see that there are multiple paths that are going through several activities right so this is how it works you start from the start tab and you go to different paths let's attack this path first a you've got the duration of four then let's go above to c you've got the duration of two then you've got f with the duration of three then you've got g with the duration of four and then the end so one path is a c f g this is one path towards the end right then there's one more path from a itself it is a b and the end right away so a duration is four and b the duration is six so the total sum here is 10 right so the duration of path a and b is 10 similarly you have one more path which is d e h to till the end right so the calculation here for d is the duration you can add all the duration three five and one which is which comes out to be nine so the entire calculation here a b you have got three paths first path a b the duration total sum of the duration is 10 a c f g the total duration is 13 d e h the total duration is 9 so these are the three paths now remember we discussed in the previous slide that the string of activities or that the path with the highest duration is the critical path so clearly here a c f g has the highest duration of 13 and that is why a c f g is the critical path what does this mean this means the activities a c f g if any of these get delayed then the entire project will get delayed and conversely activities like b d e h even if these are delayed for a certain time period the project will not be impacted and also this also means if you want to finish your entire project earlier then a c f g are the activities that you should look into completing earlier than their durations of four two three and four right so i hope this was clear i hope you are able to understand how to calculate the critical path if you have any questions do drop in the comment one last thing on real world projects you will be using softwares like microsoft project that is for sure because the example that we saw right had handful of activities but on real world projects you will have dozens or even hundreds of activities and you cannot calculate the critical path on your own you definitely need software to do so but the software is going to calculate the critical path in the same way that we just discussed another point here there are some other concepts like float slack forward pass backward pass these are covered separately and in the description below 
the entire playlist that you are going to find in the second link that will have videos discussing these different concepts as well. So that is all that we had in this video. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and learned critical path. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we publish latest project management and PMP related videos. Don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free PMP resource. Thank you.